Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and tonight I'm going to open yet another in the Lock and Load Tactical System series. This one's a little different. This one is more of a fictional, uh, realistic fictional uh, account of uh, the Soviet Union and America at the start of World War III, uh, struggling in Germany. Uh, it's Heroes Against the Red Star. Uh, uses the same modern combat rules f uh, for Lock and Load Tactical. Uh, but again, it's kind of set in the, this pre-World War III, 1985, uh, uh, you know, fictional scenario. Um, uh, it combines some of the uh, materials that had appeared before in uh, Heroes of the Gap, Heroes of the Blitzkrieg, and Honor et Patrie, which I've probably uh, butchered in French, but, uh, but there you go. So, uh, let's take a look at what you get inside. Um, so obviously, gonna have some similarities maybe to, uh, uh, I noticed in some of the description that there's a, an Eisenbach bridge, uh, and you remember the, uh, the Eisenbach Gap series, which was also a, a fictional Cold War, uh, uh, Cold War goes hot scenario. So anyway, let's take a look. Again, this is the most recent printing. And again, you got the, the large box. Love these big boxes, these are great. So you can see the see the back of it. I usually don't remember to show the back, but uh, it says its complexity is five out of ten. Solo is seven out of ten. Uh, one to two players, and obviously it does use the the uh, solo system. Um, the lock and load tactical solo system can be used with this one as well. So let's take a quick peek inside. See what you're gonna get. So we expect this one to be have a lot more aircraft, maybe a lot more armor. Uh, as far as I know, let's see. There's a there's a Falklands game I'm going to be doing an unboxing of, and I am not 100% sure of of my dates. Um, the uh, let's see the Falklands conflict was in, uh, and it was during Reagan's presidency. Yeah, it looks like 1982. So this 85, fictional 85 series would be probably the latest era that I've seen uh, with the Lock and Load Tactical series. So a little history there. All right. Let's see what we got going here. As usual, we have a couple of dice. Some very nice ones. I like the, I mean, it's stupid, I don't have to comment on but I like the rounded corners on them. They roll a lot better. Let's put those there. So we go straight to the maps. All right, because they're part of the Lock and Mood series, they are numbered. And they put them on top, so we'll take a look at them first. One thing I've learned, um, which I should have figured out before, is that the, um, I've noticed that the uh, terrain seems mostly the same, and there's some slight differences. Turns out what that is, is instead of, used to be they'd give you this map, maybe, right? And then they give you overlays you had to put on the board to, uh, to um, change the terrain. So now they've gotten a little better and they just print. So you don't have to have the overlays. So that's a good feature. So here's 27 O, 27, very, very urban. I got, 24. It's a lot more modern here. It looks like you've got a, so you got a train, you got a tunnel, a road going under the tunnel, and then you got this tree lined avenue here. So a little more thematic. This is 24 O. One of the O is for overlay. Interesting. 23. And 23 O. So we've got four maps so far here. Four maps in the about eight by twelve size maps. Twenty-two and twenty-two O. So maybe there's more. Dig down the bottom, find out. We have our turn track. Take a look at it here. Alright. Standard turn track goes up to twenty. 
some additional information. So it's NATO versus the Soviets. The good quality uh, coated cardstock. It's kind of shiny there. Very nice. All right, now we got the module rules and scenarios, and these are always packed with a rule book and then a module rule book. So this is the this is the meat that pertains just to this title. Whereas this book here, the the modern era rules, is going to be the rules that pertain to all the modern era games. You'll get this always, and this is the you know the exceptions and the and the scenario setups, things like that. All right, nice full color, uh, flat flat bound there, perfect bound, I think that's called. And I may be wrong, it goes up to 80 pages. Book says there's 25 scenarios in this. Um, where is this one? Star, all right, so the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 scenarios, unless I miscounted, which is entirely possible. All right, so then each scenario is going to be set up, show you how the map is set up, have special rules, uh, any, any placement issues, your orders of battle. This will be the Americans and the Soviets. Um, there is a guideline that will tell you where to start. There it is. Uh, the scenario in this booklet are laid out for thematic effect and date and in some cases hourly order so you're going to play them in order if you're going to play the, the campaign but to learn it they give you a few uh, starter scenarios uh, first probe uh, is limited area is almost exclusively a battle between infantry um, downtime counterattack you get helicopters so on and so forth so anyway full color module book Core, man core rules manual. This one comes in about 70 pages, I believe. It's going to be the same for all the modern era. So once you learn the rules uh, that are in this, you know, then you can play any of the modern era games. There's going to be a lot of differences between this and the World War II early era. Uh, probably the core of it is the same, and there's going to be obviously exceptions for the technology changes and things like that. So uh, if you learn this, then you can play any of these games. Pretty much in the uh, uh, modern series. Uh, the book really well laid out, cross referenced, full color, um, large print, which is good. It's easier, easier to read. Got a lot of space where you can write in it if you do that kind of thing. And if you have more than a couple of these, you're going to have you know, a couple of these books. So, where's that guy? Now we got our counters. We have six sheets of counters here. So we'll start out here with this one with the, uh, let's get some American units, get some Soviet units. These are mostly tanks. We've got a couple of helicopters here, airplane, uh, A-10 tank killer. And like all their counters, they punch out very cleanly. They almost only just fall out like butter, right? They're pre-rounded. And you can get a little visible nub there, but it's not even much. There's nothing that's going to snag. You got your counters and uh, the, the, that great new quality. I mean, they're really thick. Awesome. All right, so that's one sheet of counters. We've got another sheet here. Then we've got some other forces, other NATO forces, I guess, coming in here. Now you've got your standard markers. These are all the, so these are uh, three quarter inch. Are these three quarter inch or an inch? These are three quarter of an inch. Well, let's just find out. Get a ruler. Punch in another counter. So yeah, they are, I know they're seven eighths. I was wrong. I knew it didn't look like three quarters, but it didn't look like quite like an inch. They're seven eighths inch counters, so they're nice and chunky. Very cool. So then you got the five eighths inch counters. Yeah, which are mostly markers here and some things like turret open and close. Um, you have some hero uh, abilities that'll be on here. Let's see what the tanks have on their backs. Yeah, they got their ranged charts. 
Now on this one, some of these have multiple guns, so they have different range charts for the different guns. Cannons. So we've got uh, rubber boats, fire markers. Interesting. Now we got another sheet here that's going to have some more small counters for the single man counters, infantry, so on and so forth. And these actually do have badges on them. So the blue is French, right? So, look good. A little shaking on the back. They get shaken. All right. Then we do have event markers, line of sight. Uh, so the way those work is each scenario may have certain events that happen, and um, you'll put the marker on the board, and when a designated side is in line of sight of that marker, using standard line of sight rules, then you can uh, then you can um, you read the event and take action on that. So it's pretty cool. Then we got plane crash markers, wreck markers, gazelles are hot, gazelle cannon. Jaguar fighter. Another sheet. We've got some larger maps coming up here too. It's cool. So then we've got our American forces up here. Soviet forces down here. Some weapons teams, looks like. Alright, so now we've got some single sided maps. This is 25. And that seems very dark. This one does anyway. Seems very dark compared to some of the others. So it's 25, 26. All right, they're single-sided. Well, this is something I've not seen in a lock and load uh, tactical game. We have some large maps. We have a large map. Wow, look at this thing. I'm not going to be able to show this, I don't think. This is huge. It's like three panels and it's already put together. I'm trying to open it here. Yeah, it's like nine, nine maps all put together. All right, so looking at the uh, folded out large map here barely fits in the space that I'm working right now for the video but it is nice pretty pretty map so you get a big fold out map pretty darn cool yeah, I've not seen that now uh, Day of Heroes included one map that was kind of large, you know, urban environment. For uh, no, I guess that was this, the latest one. Excuse me, I said before that uh, this might be the most recent one, but the Day of Heroes was Mogadishu, so that was definitely the most recent conflict. So now we've also got the uh, uh, you get your weapon, ammo, and turrets chart, and the oh, this is a double sided, nice card stock, coded card stock. Uh, gives you the details of the different turret uh, and artillery rules. Um, so you don't have to pick up the counters, flip them over. You can just refer to the chart here and get that information. We have our sequence of play chart. And that's single sided. On a, in a normal game, they would be like, you know, one side would be this, one side would be this, but there's so many different units in this game. They do it that way. All right, we have our rules reference card. Again, nice coded card stuck. Double sided, double sized. Gives you a handy ready reference to the different uh, rules and how to carry them out. These are very handy. Once you know the rules, you just need this little stuff to, to refresh your memory. And we got a terrain chart, play raid card, it's got the terrain chart, and then on the other side it's got your direct fire tables, ordnance fire tables, rules for shaking, 
so on and so forth. Lay table. Seems to have been folded the wrong way, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that there. Normally it looks like that. Alright, and then that looks like last but not least, you got your, your oversized hero uh, and leader abilities card, reference card, tells you what the different abilities do. This is also, see this is uh, single sided, but double sized. They could have easily, you know, shifted this onto one side and just had a single card. But uh, anyway, it is what it is, and that's what you get. So you may like it, maybe just hang it on your wall next to the game table. So, with Heroes Against the Red Star, this is what you're going to get in the box. You're going to get the reference card. You're going to get the uh, direct fire table, the player aid card, rules reference card, sequence of light card, a lot of paper in this. Your weapon ammo endurance reference card. You're going to get a really nice large map. Map 58. Single sided, nine panels. It's huge. I mean, that's a regular map right there. Right? So you get nine of this size. Uh, and then you get two single sided maps. Oops, and loose counters. I think it was four. Four of the maps we'll get to in a minute. Put those counters in there. You're going to get six counter sheets. Okay, I'm going to lose pieces here before, we, before I'm done. Get in there. Uh, Coral Rules Manual for 1960 to Present Modern Era. The Modern Rules and Scenarios booklet. Turn track. And then, so we have two maps before. One, two, three, four double sided maps. Two dice. And that is what you're going to get in Heroes Against the Red Star from Lock and Load Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!